faces, please. The lights go down. A brand new town, and we all in the woods, far away, hiding on the stairs, holding on to all. Surrounded by the protocol I hear the place was packed last night The last night's good play Basketball And suddenly We're so far away From yesterday Will you guys give me a break? Sorry, Sean. You said you wanted reality, and this is reality. This is what America wants to see on your television special. All right, I can't believe that America is dying to see me shave. Reality. That's our watchword. Excuse me. Hi, Sammy. Yeah, keep us off, big guy. Keep us off. What time now? Oh, not too much. The yeah. usual, you know, showering and shaving with the film crew. Hey, that's great reality. That's what we're going for here, Sean. Just ignore it. I got some good news for you. We got a big problem. Really, I got to get you a woman, you know? I've already got a woman, Sammy. Nah, for the show, guy, for the show. Now, there's no denying you got sex appeal, but if there's anything a show needs more than sex appeal, it's more sex appeal. You know what I mean? Trust me on this, Sean. I've been an agent a long time. I know these things, so I want you to do me a favor. I want you to call Lonnie Anderson. I'm talking industrial strain wait, sex wait. appeal. Wait, Hold it. What? I thought we were doing a documentary here. Yeah? Yeah? Lonnie Anderson is great, but I, how does she fit into the concept of this show? I mean, reality is the watchword, remember? Sean. Hey, you're right, but what do you know? People like to see guest stars, and Lonnie Anderson, one of the best you can get. You know what I mean? And that's why they're going to love Jack. Who's Jack? Jack Albertson. I'm working on that. I got a great idea well, hold for it, you. Sam, I think what? we should talk about this. Hotel. It's hilarious. We'll have lunch. Listen, I got <laughs> Wait, I don't know anything Maybe. about it. Catch you later. We're still rolling, Sean. Oh, you're still rolling. Yeah. Hmm. The reality is what you're looking for, huh? Yeah.
What do you think? Yeah. He loves it. Hi. Welcome to my home. This is a, a room that I've spent many hours writing and thinking and trying to put words and uh, thoughts down into music. This is my, uh, my favorite critic. Uh, son, come here. This is son. Speak. Speak. That's wonderful. What we're going to be doing is uh, talking about uh, a show that uh, you're seeing tonight, but I've been involved with for quite a while now. We started originally last summer on a, a tour I was doing, and uh, these gentlemen and ladies who you can't see uh, were following me around and uh, filming the concerts and the, the people, you, uh, places I didn't expect them to turn up, they managed to turn up. And uh, we basically were after kind of a a feeling of a whole tour, and what happened was very different than what I expected. We ended up getting a show about making a show. So you're going to be seeing that uh, tonight, and you're going to stay in here with me and help me write the lyrics. Okay. At 10, you meet with the winners of the Stranded On at a Desert Island with Sean Casty contest. At 11 is the baseball game, and that takes you to lunch. Can we go over this Jack Albertson thing just once? I'm, I'm a little confused as to what... Yeah, sure. You're gonna, you're gonna just love this. Sammy arranged the whole thing. When you get to the hotel, we've got a camera waiting. You'll meet Jack Albertson, and he's gonna be dressed as a doorman. Yeah? Well, Jack's gonna hold out his hand. He's gonna say, welcome to Philadelphia. And then you say, uh, Alice, what, is, what does Sean say next? Um, Sean says, uh, wait a minute, I got it. Um, ah, okay, here it is. Sean says, Hello, Jack. That's it? Yeah. Hello, Jack? Uh-huh. It's yeah. not funny. It's funny! It's right here. Hello, it's... Jack? That's all I say? That's not very funny. Is that funny to you? Hello, Jack? What? Hello, Jack? What? Uh -huh. Sorry. Now, remember, Sean, energy. We want that energy. All right, all right. Uh, hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Jack. Hey, Jack. 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 I just don't think this is going to be funny. Hello. This isn't Jack Albertson. Guys, I think uh, Sean's right. Alice, go and uh, see what the screw up is, will you, please? All right, I'm really not trying to cause any trouble, but I don't think me talking to a doorman is going to be that hysterical. I think it's funny. Okay. Well, what's going on here? Okay, okay, no problem. Let's go ahead and film this guy, and we'll put Jack's face in later. Mr. Doorman, what's your name? Merle. Merle, could you just turn around to Mr. Cassidy, hold out your hand, and say, welcome to Philadelphia? Oh, sure. Uh, welcome to Philadelphia. That was real good, Merle, but if, if you could just wait till I say go. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay. Welcome to Philadelphia. Go. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Thank you, Merle. Jack. Hey, when's this going to be on? <laughs> Keep on 
don't know what to do But I gotta learn to start using you Then you have tasted How it feels to be wasted Your youth and days are gonna be through Well, I appreciate that, sure, Sammy, no but I'm really concerned about my appearance yeah. on Sean's special. I, I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to do, and if I'm not prepared, I really don't think I should do the show. Lonnie, sweetheart, lighten up on me, won't you, baby? The two of you are going to be dynamite together. Sean and Lonnie, Lonnie and Sean. I'm talking to Emmy here. It's going to be wonderful. And I told him you got some wonderful ideas for the show. Very creative. Uh, but I don't have any wonderful ideas for... Uh... What about the puppets? You love puppets. You used to work with puppets. He loves puppets. Everybody uh, loves puppets. But, uh... Great, great, it'll be great. Shh, shh, shh. Sorry, baby, listen, something came up. Pacino's bugged about his dressing room. You know how those guys are. They make four or five million dollars. They drive Sammy, crazy. Sammy, listen, take a meeting. just yeah. promise me one thing. Sure, anything you want, sweetie. I just don't want to end up in some dumb skit wearing a bathing suit, you know? I just don't want to be exploited. You understand, don't you, Sammy? <laughs> Do I understand? Lonnie, it was me who brought Brando out to the coast. I'm in your corner, sweetie. Whatever you want. <laughs> Thanks, God, Sam. love you. Gotta go. Gotta run. Oh. Okay, wait up. That's it. Good. Okay, that is just... Oh, what? Hey, 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 what's the talking about? Get out of here. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Go. It was a song I wrote called She's Right that, uh, was inspired by a lady I met in New York who, upon first meeting, immediately seemed to know everything about me, who pinpointed me on things that I wasn't even sure of myself. And after hearing it from her, I, I realized were true and uh, really changed a, a big direction for me in terms of, of my life and where I wanted to go uh, with my career, even. Uh, so I went home and I wrote uh, this song about her, which really doesn't sound as, as heavy as the is what kind of transformation took place for me because of her, but uh, it was just kind of softening it a little bit. Just when I thought I was old enough to realize This girl came along and said, boy, you've been living a lie She said, your heart's misplaced I can see it in your face Know how to run, but you're losing the race In the end, no one can change that i 
sanity is bad. Get out of line. Surely you can manage it. Just take your time. Don't let them take advantage of you. Okay. Action. Welcome to Philadelphia. Jack, that was absolutely terrific. But if we could do it one more time, with a little more sincerity, you know? Okay. Okay, go. Welcome to Philadelphia. Jack, I think that was just a little too serious. One more time, please. Okay? Yeah. Please. Okay. Welcome to Philadelphia. Uh, I mean, I mean, wonderful. Just terrific. Fabulous. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, Sean. Come in. You know, I don't want to create any problems, but believe me, welcome to Philadelphia is not a very funny line. Well, it's funnier than Hello Jack. Yeah, you got a point there. Why don't we talk about it? I'm with you. Yeah. Where are we going? Let's hit the bar. Bar? I don't drink. <laughs> Never mind that. Why don't we go to the bar? <laughs> All right. your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips There's no tenderness like before in your fingertips You're trying hard not to show it
When I first started uh, playing rock and roll music, I was about 13 years old, I think. And uh, like most 13-year-olds at the time, I wanted desperately to be in the Beatles. And uh, we ended up having uh, rehearsals in my mother's garage. Uh, more often than not, the rehearsals would be interrupted by the police coming to tell us to turn down or the neighbors to complain or something. And through the, the formative years, I uh, I learned to uh, to really to really enjoy uh, the music of the early '60s, which were in, in fact my musical formative years, and I carry a lot of that with me now. Uh, that influence is probably the strongest in my music today. One, two, one, two, three.
Tell me about this sketch we're supposed to be doing. Oh. Well, the idea is they want you to be all these people in the hotel. They want you to appear as the hotel manager and the, uh, the room service guy, the elevator operator. Uh, they even want you to dress up as a maid. I... Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. To be honest with you, I'm fighting to dump the whole thing. I mean, I, I don't... Good, good, good. I want to say in this business, you got to fight to survive. you got to fight for what you believe in. Can I ask you something? Sure. What's the difference between the way it is now and then? Well, of course, I have to tell you, I came to New York at the very beginning of the Depression. I arrived in New York the day after the Wall Street crash. And in very short order, things got pretty bad. People were selling apples in the street for a nickel apiece or two for a nickel. What were you doing for work? Well, uh, nothing. What about when you traveled out of town? You went to uh, cities you've never been before. How do they treat you? Not too good. No? No. Well, not the big cities, because they were used to it, but in smaller cities, small towns, they were waiting for us. You know, the boarding houses had signs that said, no dogs, no actors. No dogs, no actors. Yeah. If you had, if you had a dog act, then you were in big trouble. Moms used to lock up their daughters. Oh, I, I, they, we used to stand in front Why of Why did the actors have such a bad reputation in those days? Because they were there very briefly and they made the most of it on one or two nights, you know. Oh, well, things haven't changed too much, I guess. I guess not. Uh, Do you ever have any trouble with other girls trying to crash your room? Oh, yeah, we used to, uh, we used I to. Did you beat them off with a baseball bat? No, well, I... <laughs> I wouldn't go so far as to do that, but uh, we'd, we'd come back to our hotel rooms and we'd find uh, you know, girls under the bed and uh, girls in the shower hiding. Such a sickness I should be in. <laughs> no, it's not all bad. We, they're not shooting, are they? Are they shooting?
guys, now I just want you to promise me something. I want you to relax, maintain, everything's gonna no? be fine. I know you're a little excited, just relax, okay? Okay. Very nice lady, and we're in her home. Yeah. Just wonder what she's wearing. Sorry. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Well, uh, come on in. It's really nice to finally meet you. It's nice to finally meet you. You know the film crew? Uh, yeah. Hi, guys. Come on Hi, in. Hi, Molly. Hi. I uh, hope you don't mind if we do this in the kitchen. Oh, no, no. The kitchen's fine. You have a beautiful home here. Oh, thank you. Um, I really have to finish this, so if you don't mind, I'll just keep going with it while we talk. Oh, no. Go ahead. Okay. What are you doing? This? Coleslaw. A lot of cabbage in coleslaw. Yeah, a lot of cabbage. Sometimes I even put uh, old raisins in it or shredded carrots. Well, uh, I should probably talk about the show, huh? Good. Sammy said you had uh, an, I an idea, something to do with puppets? Puppets? No, I didn't say that. I said I used to work with puppets. That was really a long time ago. It was for an educational program. Maybe we should just kick it around anyway, huh? Okay. Okay. Um, it's not uh, marionettes, you know, puppets on the string. It's, uh, it is hand puppets. <laughs> okay. So now just sort of pretend that this glove is a little metallic doll. Uh, okay. This little doll is owned by this rich kid. And he's pretty happy, you know, except for one thing. He wants to be alive so he can make children happy. Anyway, the rich kid gets really bored with him and just tosses him out into the trash. And then this big dog comes along and knocks over the garbage can, and the little metallic doll ends up in the street. Well, things are not looking so good for the little metallic doll, okay? But then, then this, this great big truck comes along and crushes him. Uh, and then the rain comes down and just washes him right down this big storm drain and out into the sea where this giant octopus comes along and sees this shiny thing and he eats it. I even have a puppet for the, the octopus. I mean, I wear it on my head. It's, you wear it on your head? Yeah. Are you sure you want to hear this? I mean, I really feel silly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, maybe if I no, just get right like to... Oh, <laughs> that's true. Okay, I'll just get right to the end. The little doll has all these adventures, see, and then he finally ends up being melted down and used in the construction of this very special hearing aid for a composer who writes children's songs. And that makes the children happy and everybody happy, including the doll, even though he didn't get to be a human. You're right. It stinks. Uh, why don't I just uh, finish my coleslaw here, and you tell me your idea. My idea? Yeah. Well, Sammy said you had a lot of ideas. Okay, I've got, I've got one idea. Okay. It's kind of rough, but okay, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it to you. Here's the setup. I'm in my hotel room, and uh, I, it's after a concert, and I'm, I'm kind of lonely. You know, I'm kind of depressed, and uh, you're my girlfriend. Okay? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking about you, right? And I'm, I'm kind of down. And and all of a sudden, you come into the picture, and you're thinking about me too. Uh -huh. And what am I wearing? I don't know, something tasteful, a negligee or something. Anyway, you come into the picture, and I start singing this song. How is it? Well, okay, I'll, I'll sing a little bit. Okay. I sing. Sometimes when we touch, and then and then you turn to me and go. The honesty is too much. We kind of look at each other and we hold for a second and, and then... The, the ending's really not as exciting as it is the beginning. Uh, yeah, well, you know, gosh, that is really uh, interesting. And I just love your voice. I've always loved your voice. Thank you. Look, Lonnie, I'm sorry about this. I. I know these guys have been calling you around all over the place and kind of mm -hmm. bothering you and I, I... I just wanna... I just wanna thank you. Really. Uh, well, it's really my pleasure. I'm just so flattered that you even thought of me at all. Oh, no, no. It's, it's our pleasure. I mean, having us over to your house and all that. Yeah, a lovely home here. Thanks. 
Well, nice to meet you again. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Got a nice week. Do you want me to show you how? No, no, I, I'm, well, I, I came in that way. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I think one of the first singles I bought actually was a, a little ditty called The Do Run Run. In a show uh, that we did in Anaheim, California, I had the opportunity to meet and work with the group that originally cut that record, The Crystals. And uh, that was incredible. There is a theory uh, that some groups uh, believe that you should tour virtually all year round, uh, just be everywhere always, and the tour to you drop theory just does not work for me, because I I'm basically a homebody, and uh, my, my private life, my personal life is really important to me. Anyway, uh, I'm glad that you got to see, this isn't the whole house, we have a, a few other rooms. But I'm glad that you got to, to spend this time with us, with me, and you're welcome over any time.
Also appearing, The Crystals, Art Castle, Bill Phillips Murray, Nile Rogers, and Son, the Wonder Dog. Now stay tuned as Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell sisters welcome superstar Dolly Parton. Then NBC News presents the probing special, The Falklands, Oh, What a Sorry War. What happened in the Falklands? Why did 1,300 die? The Falklands War and what must be learned from it? Later, Blythe Danner hosts Saturday Night Live, all tonight on NBC.